Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we were here watching uh this. And now we're gonna head on towards victory. Oh wait. Of course it wouldn't be that easy. We have some big hulking dude working out. But we gotta fight him. It's it's inevitable. Well well, how for a little straw are we? For boss time. <laughs> But yeah, uh, basically, this is uh, the second coming of Dizbell. He's kind of a jerk in this fight, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I leveled up a bit so that uh, Robo could learn Cure Beam, which heals everybody, kind of like Frog's uh, Cure. Yeah, so... That's gonna be awesome. And then uh, you can just heal or whatever. He's going to uh, counter basically everything, so... Kind of like Chrono. Oh. Gotta love that new fist. Alright, let's use Volt Bite. I'll probably have uh, Robo stand by for a uh, cure. Yeah, Volt Bite's gonna help because it does a lot of damage. I hate that move. I actually hate the, uh, the other move that's gonna come up here. It's actually called Heal Beam. I called it Cure Beam, sorry. Luckily, we keep getting that, uh... What's the word for it? We keep getting the, um... The counter. Yeah, that's it. Ah. One of these days, viewers, one of these days, I'm going to learn how to use words. And it's going to be a glorious day for all of us. Yeah, if you keep piling on the, uh, the Volt whatever, it's going to do a lot of damage. And he's just going to do a lot of damage to us. So you guys can go with the Volt, and he can go with the Heal. As long as you keep your MP up, this fight's not too hard. If you don't have Volt Bite or any other real means of damaging him, it's going to be a hard fight. This is a harder boss, actually. Heal Juice! Ding, ding, dong. Luckily, that move doesn't do too hell of a much. Alright, so let them use the Volt Bite and just keep going on with the, uh, with the heals. I don't know where they got the idea to have, you know, Chrono just strike your teammate with thunder, but if it works, it works, I guess. Pretty sure he's gonna go and release the electricity. If not, we're gonna get a really nice hit here. Probably do like 1500. And we will. Awesome. That damage is unreal. And we beat him. I made that fight look a lot easier than it, than it actually is. It, it's, it's a tough fight if you don't have Volt. Whatever. Yeah, Volt Bite. That's it. Sounds like a Pokemon move. Pikachu, Volt Bite! Oh, that's Volt Tackle I'm thinking of. Alright, so let's heal up here. Because I believe there's another boss fight actually coming up. Oh, we're fully healed. Except for him. Then we could just use some, uh, others. And we're good to go. Alright, so let's save. You know, just in case, I don't want to lose all my data and just be screwed for the rest of forever. As is the case in most Final Fantasy games. Alright, so this is a typical battle. Just hit this guy. And then have uh, one of your other characters target the other unit or whatever. It's not that big a deal. These guys are easy. Easy peasy something. I don't know. I'm not gonna say Lemon Squeezy, because that's just ridiculous. But yeah, um, I actually raised our character's levels right outside the room where you fight Nisbell. So, it's, it's a good spot to train, actually, for uh, TP, because it gives you quite a bit. I think it's like... I don't know, you fight like three groups of enemies, and it's like 30-something uh, TP every time, so... It's quite useful. It's useful. Yeah. That doesn't help me. That does. 
kind of lost our save point though. That sucks. We get a full leather, which fully heals your uh, your MP, your MP, whatever the kids call it. I don't know. I don't think I've ever called it MP or whatever. <laughs> That's just craziness. I always had a problem calling uh, power points PP in Pokemon because I was juvenile as hell. And Still am, because I think that's hilarious. I'm not a PP man. Not a, I can't use... I can't use Thunderbolt anymore. I, I don't know. This isn't about Pokemon right now. Oh. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Oh god, Pokemon, what's going on? That is seizure-inducing, if I've ever seen anything. Surprised it did the exact same damage to both of them. Ugh, with a robo-punch. But yeah, in that last fight, you can have Frog with you. It honestly doesn't matter. Any character that can heal everybody at once is pretty useful. Uh, Marl is not that useful, believe it or not. Um, this is the point in the game where her usefulness kind of, like, dies off. Oh, we learned life. Awesome. Uh, that brings an or that brings an ally back to full health or whatever. Or I think it just brings it back. I don't know. So you are here at last. This is it then. The showdown. Today there shall be a conclusion. Will it be the reptites or you silly apes who end up ruling the world? And Ayla, Ayla, no take shit. Ayla, fight. What was that? Hear that lovely voice? Soon, you'll soon become the best of friends! Ah! That was totally unnecessary, by the way. <laughs> so let's grab what's in these chests. A Ceratopper. And a Mid-Ether. So let's... Let's go and equip that to somebody. 121. No, 13. Doomfinger. It's just the most badass sounding thing ever. Uh, I'll just give it to Robo. That way you can have a little extra defense. For boss time! What the hell is that thing? What is that in the background glowing? Red star fall, stay the earth! Though it may be our fates to perish, we will not simply hand this world over to you! <laughs> With this black Tyranno, I can finally exterminate those filthy apes! This boss fight's kinda hard. Uh, attack Azela. Let's try Rock Throw, see if that does anything. Don't attack the Black Tyranno, because it's not going to work out for you in the end. Oh yeah, I think it spells do damage to her. Psychokinesis! That was the epitome of badass. Apparently, before the humans came to this Earth, we were plagued. Plagued. By, by these reptites, these reptiles that apparently had telekinesis. Yeah, that's something they don't teach you in the history books. Or anywhere, for that matter. Let's try spin cut. That didn't do that much damage. And let's try... a rocket. No. Didn't really bring my uh, damaging team here, did I? Yeah, see, even if you do get some damage on him, he's just going to do that, and it's not worth it. Let's try a uh, stone throw. And he can heal himself. Yeah, if you're single targeting, use Cure Beam, because it heals more. I think there would be some sort of try a Volt Bite. You can use a Cure Beam. 
I don't think I was prepared for this fight, guys. Ow. If she can do that, why doesn't she just throw me off the edge of the cliff? Gotta love that video game logic. Yeah, so it pretty much does the same amount of damage either way. Yeah, because I think if you attack the Black Tyranno... Or maybe you have to attack the Black Tyranno. No. It doesn't do jack diddly. I can just use... Lightning. And I can use a, uh... Heal Beam on everybody. Yes, this is the fascinating conclusion. <laughs> Anybody else hungry? Just looking at this. What the? No! Damn it, I didn't mean for that to be on cue. <laughs> I must have psychokinesis as well. Huh. Do we have any kind of like. What does barrier do? Let's use on. Prana. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. <laughs> that that that's why you should not watch me. Oh, attack him! Attack him when he does that. That's the only time you can really attack him. Case the double thunder. Yeah, basically you want to hit him when he starts the countdown, because that's the only time you can hit him. Let's try... Volt Bite. Nice! That's what I like in terms of the damage. All right, come on. Apparently that counts as an attack. Let's try a robo tackle to go along with the uh, the damage. And his pallet looked really weird there. Oh, bam! Four hundred. Not bad. I don't remember if you can guard in this game. Oh god. Uh, there we go. The pain, the suffering. It doesn't do that much damage, but it hurts. So just heal, beam up, and continue to attack her with magic. It's a falcon hit. Oh, it hits everybody. Was Robo about to die? Did he hit, like, Robo harder? I didn't see that. Stop using Psychokinesis. And stop making this episode last so long. Just kill the dragon thing, whatever. Let's try to heal for a cure beam. He can go for the thunder. Or the lightning. I'll just use lightning, too. I don't care. That's probably what he did. does a lot. What the hell happened to Robo? Alright, so we beat Azela, and now we can actually concentrate on this thing. So let's try Lightning 2. Actually, no, I could have used the, uh... The one ability, but it didn't quite work out that way for me, so let's use a uh, mid ether on Chrono. So that way I can keep going with the uh, Volt Bite. Let's 
should only do like 400. Yeah. It doesn't start doing the real damage until you go and, uh... And he lets down his guard. Oh, I hate fighting these things over and over again. Just die. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oh, wait. So he can use the volt bite. Basically, when he's doing this, just destroy his HP. Just do as much damage as you possibly can. Like a thousand right there. That's that's good, solid damage. Plus the uh, little help from uh, Robo there. All right, come on. I like that that counts as an ability, so I can actually make use of my uh, whatever uh, counter ability, which has actually really helped me out throughout this game. I, I for some reason I thought it was weaker than it actually is. But it's, it's come in handy, and I, I I enjoy things like that. You know, things in RPGs that are actually useful. Alright, this is the turn. That's right, hit him in the face. Full bite. Just keep hitting him in the face, just like, roar, and he just like, nope. Get that out of here. I want to beat him this turn. I don't want to have to go through another one of these. Alright, come on. Hurry up. Okay, you can do that. Yeah, I was able to get one more off before he used his ability. I think this boss has like 1300 HP or something like that. And we win! A winner is us! Chrono levels up, yeah! What the? It's a weird design on that stone there. No! It can't be! Could the heavens truly have sided with those apes? Listen, primates, and let it be known. We reptites fought bravely to the bitter end. Ayla, understand. What? Wait, what's going on? Soon, stones of fire will rain down. Fire shall scorch the land. The burnt-out plains will slowly freeze, ushering a long, cruel ice age. Ha <laughs> ha! What a treat! You will wish you went along with us. Ha <laughs> ha! Lavos? Wait... What? No. It can't be. Is that the same Lavos that destroys the world? We're like in 12,000 million BC. It didn't do anything then. Ayla's word, la, mean fire, vos, mean big. Me talk like mad now. Kino! Oh sweet, the pterodactyl team is with us here, awesome. Let's get out of here. Come, Azela, come. What the hell? That's a horrifying noise if I've ever heard one. I swear to God, Godzilla better be down there. Cause that is some scary shit. 
So Lavos was born here. Frobo had a British accent. Of course we fight it. And apparently now we are diamonds. Lavo should be weaker now. Perhaps we can put an end to him. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like the new Robo. You know what, guys? You know what? Forget it. We're going to do it. We're going to fight this guy. A gate is formed. Huh. Let's do it! Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, damn. Maybe I can go back. Nope. Oh, wait. The time gyro says, what? 12,000 years in the past? That was some trip. Alright, well... I'm actually going to go back and grab some stuff from the, uh, the past, so I will join you guys back here next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Millennium Jester, signing out. Have a nice day.